Hi, it's Paul from Derivan, and today I'm going to tell you how to do some jelly printing. Jelly printing is where we use a jelly plate. Now this plate is from Jelly Arts, and what we do is we add ink to it, and we place objects into that ink, or take things away from that ink. Now we're going to print in two layers, and we're going to be using some drying retarder in with some Derivan acrylic. And we're going to print onto a canvas panel. So let's give it a go, shall we? So, we just add a couple of drops of retarder. To our acrylic. And mix it well together. Place a small amount on our jelly plate. And roll up. Make sure it's covered evenly. Then we push in some bubble wrap. Peel it off and print. It's really quite simple, but that's only our first layer. So we'll try some magenta now. We'll roll up a nice even layer right to the edges. Now I'm going to add some string into this this time. And let's print. And there we have it. So on this last one, we've combined the two colours, roll up evenly. I'm going to press in some embossed paper and I'm going to reduce the ink with a scraper and add some shapes and some stencil. And there we have it. So for layer two, we do the same thing with drying retarder and acrylic. Roll up evenly, we add in some shapes, and I'm using these cut out foam letters which are just being glued to a piece of cardboard. Just press them to lift out some ink, and I want to make sure I can see those ears, so we'll take that stencil off, and we're going to drop in the suggestion of a bit of a fence here. I think that's enough. Now let's do layer two. Now with the combined two layers, you'll see when we peel it off, look at what we've ended with. So for the next one, we, our first layer was red, so I'm going to go green. And I'm keeping with this theme of circles with some stencils and some laid objects. And I'm going to scrape out just a little bit of ink here in the corner and take a registration of that. So we push gently, peel this one off, and for the final one, I'm just going to mix a dark colour to go with this light pink background, and again, roll out evenly, and I'm going to block out some big areas this time. That way we'll preserve a lot of the pink. I'm going to just drop a little piece of string because we had string in the first layer. And we'll pop that down. And there we have it. So the only thing to do is for you to have a go.